Hi, this problem is a little bit of practice um, converting your moles to the number of atoms, which is different than the number of grams, and we'll get some practice with uh, going grams to moles to atoms more in, in future videos. So in this one, it reads, how many moles of lithium are there in 1.204 uh, times 10 to the 24th lithium atoms? And so here, let's talk about some concepts first. So one concept is it's just like dozens. The question is is how many moles, how many moles of lithium are there in 1.204 times 10 to the 24th lithium atoms. Now this this would pose you no trouble at all if this were were dozens. For example, if I asked you how many dozen dozens of tires are there in um, 48 tires, well, you'd say, well, you'd instantly say four dozen. You just know that in your head because you know how to solve this problem. So you'd say 48 tires times and then you would say well how do I do this how would I write this if I didn't know how to do this so well in my mind well you would, you would define what a dozen mean you'd say that one dozen one dozen is of anything is 12 of anything and so then you would say 48 times 12 is four dozen you would you would just do that and likewise here you're saying how the question is how many moles are there so you would say that you would say however many um, of whatever there are of atoms and you would say that uh, one mole and you would say one mole is in our case 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of that thing and then you would get the number of moles and that's how you do the problem I mean likewise you could actually pretty easily say that you know convert for how many um, just like you said 48 tires you wanted to find out how many dozen were there were, you could actually find out how many moles there were. So you would just say, in that case, you would say, you had the same number of tires, how many moles is that? You would say, well, I've got 48 tires. And I would say, well, okay, well, then I have one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, whoops, 23rd of those, and you just divide that and you'd get how many moles of tires you have. So it's conceptually difficult, mostly because we're living in the land of atoms and molecules, and it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. But uh, if you, with enough practice, it'll start to make sense. You know, chemistry is not, this is not a spectator sport. You don't get better at this by watching me do it. You really get better at this by trying these practice problems yourself. So one, one good way to approach this is to go back to the beginning of this video before I solve this, these problems and see if you can do them on yourself and then uh, continue for there. So let's write this one. We're going to start with writing uh, how many moles of lithium atoms there are. we have. Like always, we're going to start with what we what we have, what we're given. So we're going to write with one point, we're going to write 1.204 times 10 to the 24th. And in previous videos, we had to look up molecular weights of things, and that's not necessary this time and this is going to be lithium atoms uh, atoms so we're going to write one one good help here is that we want to put whatever we have as atoms on the bottom or a count of something and we're going to put moles one mole here so we're going to say one mole is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms and then we're going to have to divide. So we're going to get uh, 1.204 times 10 to the 24th divided by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And that'll give us our answer. And the answer will be in units of uh, moles of lithium. So let's do it in our calculators, as I promised, because I know that a lot of you can't do this in your head yet. So um, we're just going to go ahead and clear this. And we're going to start with the number we're given, which is 1.204 times 10 to the 24th. So we're going to write uh, 1.2 uh, 0 
204. Whoops, excuse me. Let me go back and delete this. 204, second function, double E, 24. And then we're going to go with 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So we're going to divide by 6.022, second function, 10 to the 23rd. And we're going to click Enter. And that's going to give us 1.9999999 times 10 to the 0. That's, I'm going to turn that back to normal mode so it's not in scientific notation in case it's confusing to you. Hit enter again and we get, huh, I didn't do it right. So hit back to here, go back to normal mode, hit enter there, make sure it takes. Second function quit, second function quit, Whoop. and then we hit enter again and it should come out the right way now, and it does. So 1.99, we're going to round that up to 2. 2.00 um, moles of lithium atoms. So I'm going to write that down here and go 2.00 moles of lithium. Right there. And that's the answer to that part. All right, so we're doing a little more practice. And this time we're going to do it a little, a little differently, like we always do, and also backwards again. So we're starting this time with the, the um, grams uh, again uh, so I mean um, this is that last time was just a number of atoms now we're starting with the number of grams so we're starting with 2.00 grams of boron and we need to get how many atoms there are in this many grams so we're gonna have to go from grams to moles to moles to atoms so it's a little more complicated so we're gonna our little our outline is gonna look something like this we're gonna say grams of boron and then we're gonna have to figure out how many grams per mole there are and we're going to have to do another step here which is going to be how many uh, atoms there are per mole there are per mole now we know this value in atoms per mole because it's always 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd as it, as it was here for one mole and we and so we're going to use our calculator to get both the grams per mole and we're going to store this time and we're going to recall the value of the number of atoms per mole because we're going to get tired of typing this number in all the time our final math is going to look something like this 2.00 divided by the molecular weight of boron of boron and that's going to be times uh, molecular uh, the molar mass or Avogadro's number and that's going to give us our answer. And so let's let's try to do that in our calculator right now. So we're going to start with 2.00. I'm going to clear some stuff here. And I'm going to type 2.00. I'm just going to type enter that so that it's somewhere in our calculator. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the value of Avogadro's number to our memory stack. So I'm going to put 6.022, second function, double E, 23rd. Uh, enter and then I'm going to say I'm going to go to store and I'm going to go alpha a for Avogadro's number so I went store you can read my what I my history right here I said store alpha a and I hit enter and now that value is stored as a so for example if I were going to go to go two times uh, second alpha a and hit enter it gives me twice that value so that's now in the memory. And then I'm going to look up the value of, oops, i got to enter this again. I didn't mean to clear it. The, um, the molecular weight of boron. So I'm going to use my apps here. I'm going to go to number six. And I'm going to click any button so I can go. So we're going to go down to boron here, which is right here. Enter. We're going to go down and find the molecular weight, which is 10.806. We're going to click set, which is this button over here. We go second function quit, second function quit. And now we have this value as well in our stack. So then we're going to look at our math problem here. We said we're going to take 2 divided by the molecular weight of boron times the number of moles. So I'm going to click up here and go to 2, enter. I'm going to go divided by up here, hit that. And I'm going to say times, then I'm going to recall 
the uh, value of a, or just use it as a. So 2 divided by 10 times Avogadro's number, and I'm going to hit enter, and then I get the value of 1.11 times 10 to the 23rd, and we're going to look at our value here. We get 1.11 times 10 to the 23rd is our predicted answer. We write that here and we say it's 1.11 uh, 1 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of boron. Anyway, I hope I help, this helps you with your conversion of atoms to grams to moles a little bit. I know you need more practice than this. I would recommend you rewind to the beginning and come back and see if you can do these with your calculator and look for more problems from me in the future on using uh, stoichiometry which is the you know using a balanced equation to do some more of the same kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.